Okay, we're here checking out uh, Beeman G Drive uh, version 0.2, their new big update. Um, I guess they did a lot of work to this area, the industrial site, and uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, world editor. Because um, they took away the old world editor and updated the new one. And uh, it's a little confusing, so we're going to check it out. All right, here we are on the industrial site. Let's free up the camera, hit Shift-C. Let's go take a look around with the uh, directional keys and the mouse to steer. Yeah, it looks uh, a bit different, doesn't it? Looks pretty nice. All right, let's get right into it with the world editor. So let's bring our car back over here. Let's hit F7 to bring our car back to our camera location. And uh, we're gonna hit Shift C to free up the camera. And we're gonna back up a little bit using the S. And to get into the world editor, you hit F11. Well, let's check that out. Now, I, right here, I already have the scene tree up, but if it was not up, you would go to Tools. <coughs> excuse me uh, scene tree and this will show you everything that's here on the map and um, for example if you wanted to uh, make a few trucks easy way you just go to player here and uh, if you want to uh, spawn a few more of these first of all you can move around using this gizmo um, I recommend pausing though otherwise stuff like that will happen now that you're paused, you can lift it up and it'll stay in the air and whatnot. Um, if you uh, pull on this gizmo while you're holding the shift key, it will duplicate it. So here we go. I'm going to hold shift. Now there's two of them there. Uh, it popped in right on top of the other one. It didn't used to do that, so um, it used to pop up right next to it. You can see that it's there. So since it's on top of the other one, you just pull it off like that. And there you go. There's two of them. Now, if you want to make a whole bunch of cars, instead of just doing them one at a time, go over here to the scene tree, click on uh, one of these, hold the shift, and click the other one. And now hold shift again, pull the gizmo, and this will pop up two more. Let's get them out of the way, and etc. So click on one of the, uh, the player buttons over here, hold shift, and click the last one to highlight them all. Grab the gizmo, pull, and you should have uh, four more pop up and so on. Now doubling this each time, you can quickly get to a large number. All right, uh, so yeah, let's just see what happens if we uh, exit the editor by hitting F11. And uh, let them go, we'll turn gravity back on by unpausing and letting them drop all right let's go back into the world editor and take a look at that stuff here ah uh, there's lots of stuff to learn on this thing you got your cut and paste copy all that good stuff uh, rotate orient scale now Let's see if we can mess with something that's in here already. How about one of these large things? Uh, it works the same way if you wanted to make another one of these. We just hold shift and pull on the gizmo and there it is. There's another one. Now, since it's highlighted we can just hit delete key to delete it. That's fine. I'm not sure if uh, scale will work on these uh, kind of objects. Let's see if it'll scale. Oh it does. Well, I'll look at that. That's pretty cool. That's that makes things a lot easier. Okay. Wow, you could really get creative with this. Okay, that's cool to know. So I wonder if a scaled image or object asset, whatever, once scaled, if we duplicate it, will retain that scale? I don't know. Let's go back on the uh, translate key. Get our gizmo back. We'll hold shift and oh, look at that. Nice. Well, that should give some people some ideas already, I think, right? Right? Okay, so, what else can we do in here? Let's close the scene tree. Ah, oh, that's right, we got the, uh... Oh, a bunch of stuff in here. 
Where is the uh, camera transform? That's new. Um, there was a script AI path tool in here. I wonder if that's still in here. Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, so anyway, this is going to be the first installment of this little series of world editor videos. Um, it's just a simple introduction to it. And as I learn, we'll make more videos and learn together. Okay, thanks for watching everybody.